This is Frederick from Techno Label Detroit, Berlin. I'm going to take a look at the Matrix mixer from Dörfer. It's the A138M. It's a four channel input, four channel output, yeah, Matrix mixer. This means that every input can be routed to every output. The nice thing about this Matrix mixer is that it has switches to put it in a unipolar or a bipolar fashion. So I'll explain in a bit. Maybe I'll go over this patch real quickly, what everything is doing, and then further explain what this module actually, what are the, the, the positive things about this module, what does it do, what does it maybe don't do. Um, let's just jump right into it and yeah I'm using the Moog Matriarch as the sound generation um, and I'm routing things to and from the Matrix Mixer to yeah get things complicated. Let's take a quick look at the Matrix Mixer. You have the inputs for pretty identical inputs these are the rows and then you got the columns, you've got the A, B, C and D and at the bottom you've got these outputs, so the A, B, C and D output. So if you take input 1, A will come out of this one and this knob will yeah, attenuate the input signal, whether it be audio or control voltages. So this will attenuate 1A. This will attenuate 1B, C, D. This is 2A, so this will attenuate that one and so forth. So the last one is 4D, so if you have an input there, it will output the signal that is attenuated here. So, really pretty simple concept, but this matrix mixer has some, I think, nice features. Like I mentioned, the unipolar slash uh, bipolar switch. For each channel you can choose uh, if it's unipolar or bipolar and I'll do some special routings uh, later. But first go to the, the, the patch that I have set up. So what's actually happening, all these outputs go to the four oscillators, the pitch input. So it combines the sequence with the control voltages or audio rate voltages uh, that will be sent out from the matrix mixer. To make it maybe a little bit more understandable I will just yeah show the patch 
while playing a little bit and while sculpting the sound using the matrix mixer. So I will experiment a little bit explaining what I'm doing so that it's easier to yeah, know what the mixer can do. So let me grab my headphones. Let's just put the matriarch on a drone. Okay, we can start with the drone. So I'm turning the volume up. Now I'm only passing through oscillator one. Oscillator one, when I plug in the output from yeah, column A, let's see what it does. It will combine all these signals Okay, so now I've got nothing going into the mixer, but input one, if you don't plug anything into input one, it actually, it's a control voltage. It's a voltage that it sends out and it has a pretty large range. So if you, does not, if you don't plug anything, into channel one, then it just creates a continuous uh, voltage that can be attenuated. Now it's at zero. Now it's at a hundred percent because it's in unipolar mode. If I switch it to bipolar mode, then the vo the the control voltage it drops because actually. because right in the middle it becomes 0% minus 100% and plus 100%. So the thing is you can go into the negative or into the positive and I'll show you in a, in a short while how this can be really nice. So let's first put this one back now it's still in bipolar mode so everything that is like zero is right at the top let me see um, I have an LFO and this LFO is attenuated here when I move the knob clockwise it gets bigger and bigger and bigger the the modulation uh, range when I move it counterclockwise it gets also bigger but in a inverse way Unipolar mode It's just like a regular attenuator What is nice I can let's say let's bring in oscillator 2 I can modulate it like against each other like the one going positive, the one go, the the other one going negative, so it creates a different flavor. This is for channel two. This one also nothing plugged in. This whole row will be a continuous voltage that I can attenuate or yeah using a bipolar manner negative or positive so let's plug in the second one which is an output of one of those oscillators
and let's plug the third one in, which is also one of the other oscillators, which makes it yeah feedback, which makes it crunch the sound. So. You can get lots of really intricate flavors and really weird tones using yeah, routing like that. Let's maybe introduce the third oscillator. This one. Unipolar, it really gets Really to the extreme. Maybe introduce the fourth oscillator. really becomes noise, crunch, really gritty sounds. A little bit of modulation, audio rate, uh, frequency modulation on the filter and on the oscillators. You get a really nasty sound. Let me shut down that drone because it might get really irritating after a while. Let's just again play a sequence and I will flip a few switches and this will really impact the sound because it will flip from an attenuator to like a more polarizer uh, kind of um, situation. So yeah. Let's just play a sequence. I really like audio rate frequency modulation on both amplifier, filter and pitch to create that more gritty sound. And it might also be like an interesting idea to just unpatch everything and see what the original sound of this patch without the matrix mixer would be. So let's just quickly unpatch everything. So this is the actual patch, pretty beautiful, pretty full and rich, but not modulated in like a little way, frequency modulation, but a real small amount. Really a regular sound. Let me do kind of an experiment. Let's see, I have a few cables here. So let's put it all on unipolar. So when I turn everything down, 
it will all be at yeah zero percent that's might be like a pretty nice way to start messing around with it now it's a mixer it can just mix signals like any other mixer it can be viewed as like if you want to send different mixes to different filters and then bring them back together in a way with another mixer you can do a setup like that so you send them in a different way to different effects different filters you name it you can yeah kind of with a mixing console maybe let's use the quad vc lfo vco from dofer um, i always get pretty nice and weird results from yeah using that one let me grab a few extra cables and yeah here i am let's use this triangle out put it in the input and maybe let's see let's use the square out and put it in the other input like this so it doesn't interfere with the camera too much let's take the audio out from the fourth channel and let's put it in the noise input on the matriarch turn it up drone open up the filter and now let's introduce these sounds but i need to be in vco mode of course going to put everything in vco mode okay we have a uh, yeah annoying sound it's a steady pitch maybe let's just play sequence this is somewhat nicer it's still a steady pitch but this will probably change so i have one mix let's see let's introduce the square wave and i might mm, let's take output a and send it to uh, this input just the first one okay and then i will take the output of that channel and send it to input tree and then i might also do some feedback in a way hopefully this will work so let's send this audio rate to modulate as a third channel okay this is already pretty nice maybe let's um do some audio feedback some more audio feedback and we might send this this feedback again into the input of that second oscillator 
which makes it pretty unpredictable, but then again, let's just try it. Okay, what we will do with this channel, we might, let's see, we can kind of, I think, cross modulate these ones. So let's just see, I'll put it in bipolar mode, uh, column C, and let's see what this does. Now it's at zero, when I put it like straight up. Okay, this sounds interesting. This is too much. Okay, so now let's do something about uh, the pitch, I would say. Let's see. Let's play the sequence. Okay, now this, I think this sounds really cool. Maybe that's not a nice word, but I would call it, it has a cool sound. And experimenting is the key in finding like the sweet spot because you have 16 parameters and yeah you've got the unipolar bipolar switch And it can get some interesting results, but it's a lot of hit and miss. But then you do something and then it really, yeah, it catches something nice or maybe not.
And of course the what PCO slash LFO you can actually cross modulate it by itself so probably not a good idea but what the heck Add an oscillator from the matriarch. This is sounding pretty uh, nice, I would say. back in turn down the matrix mixer and quad VC LFO slash VCO 
really over driving the mixer from the matriarch so be a good idea but probably is a bad idea to modulate the filter with what's coming out of the matriarch uh, what did I say out of the quad TC elevo Might go over an attenuator. Might use the sum output. This is really crunchy. I combined grit and crunchy, so crunchy, I make up words myself, so... When a sequence is this dirty, I can make up words myself. Changes, but I think in a pretty nice and fluent way. It's still very gritty. Of course, there's always a possibility when I turn a knob, the patch goes to oblivion. Especially when I flip a switch. But yeah. 
Maybe it's because I combined it with the voices from the matriarch. Let's turn them down. Now it's these effects. And it's a nice flavor. So combined with those other voices, there's something really cool. Still have those harmonies, those uh, synced oscillators from the matriarch. Now it's combined with that really gritty low end from the Quad PC Elevo slash Visio. Totally routed and destroyed by the Matrix mixer from the. So yeah, that's about it. Um, Matrix Mixer, I think, is an incredible, simple, but incredible and effective tool to yeah, mix sources and make them really feedback in different special ways. If you want crunchy stuff, it's yeah, it can be used in a plethora of ways. So. It really sits well with the Quad VC Elevo slash VCO from Duffer. It's the A143-4. Um, the A138M is just an amazing tool. I would call it a tool, a kind of a utility almost. It's a mixer, but you can do so much nice stuff with it. Um, I'm having loads of fun with this mixer and yeah, I must admit I use it not every day. I use it sometimes, but when I do I'm always amazed that everything gets entwined and it's really easy to switch patches um, that you set up and look for those sweet spots. Definitely they, there are some sweet spots and there are some spots that you probably want to avoid with this mixer. But yeah, if you use it in a very simple way, 
can't do anything wrong with it. Um, it's just a nice mixer. Takes quite some space, but actually it's four mixers in one, four four channel mixers kind of. It's not really that, but yeah, you can you can do stuff that you can't do with those separate mixers, I would say. So yeah. Please, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And yeah, I hope next time I will do another module. And you can always leave in the comment section down below which module of from Dofer you want me to yeah, do a kind of tutorial um, workflow demonstration with. And yeah. I have put a list down in the description with affiliate links. If you click those links, I get a real small percentage. So you support the channel. I can keep doing what I'm doing. Please leave a comment down in the comment section down below. Suggestions, keep them coming, I would say. And yeah, hope to see you next time. Bye bye.